Sitting in the pilot's seat of the Crew-7 mission is Andreas Mogensen, an astronaut from the European Space Agency representing Denmark. He was the first Dane to become an astronaut as a member of ESA's 2009 class. But before his first space flight in 2015, he underwent extensive training all around the world. That included two missions with NASA's underwater lab near Florida called NASA Extreme Environment Mission Operations, or NEMO. NEMO uh, is, it was a great tool, training tool to prepare for my first flight because living in an underwater habitat is very similar to living on board the space station. You have the same focus uh, on safety, uh, in terms of atmosphere, in terms of uh, the way you work. Mogensen's extreme environment training also took him underground through ESA's week-long cooperative adventure for valuing and exercising human behavior and performance skills, also known by the acronym CAVES. We have this idea that the Earth is is solid beneath our feet, but you know, some places on the Earth, it, it's just full of, of, of caves long tunnels uh, and getting a chance to explore that and just see this completely different world. I think it's, it's very, very valuable for uh, lunar missions and, and, and probably also Mars missions in the future. His first trip to space was a relatively short 10 day mission aboard the ISS, but this time around, he'll be there for half a year. Last time I could exclusively focus on science and technology development. This time I'm gonna, uh, you know, have to be part of the, you know, performing maintenance and repair, uh, doing some of the logistical work uh, when uh, cargo vehicles arrive and depart, and for hopefully also uh, get a chance to work with the space station robotic arm and, and maybe even participate in an EBA or a spacewalk. Mogensen says a six-month mission in space will not only bring new opportunities, but also some hurdles back on Earth, too. So certainly it'll also bring uh, some other challenges, uh, especially you know, the time away from my family and my children, uh, you know, they're, they are four, six and nine. So for them, six months is, is really a, a long time. I mean, their, their lives can, can change a lot in six months. So that's going to be, that's going to be a challenge. Definitely. But the challenge also comes with unique opportunities. Mogensen is the first non-American astronaut to pilot a SpaceX Crew Dragon. Not only that, while on station as part of Expedition 70, he will also become the space station commander. We spoke with Frank Devina, the head of the European Astronaut Center in Germany and ESA's ISS program manager, who just so happened to be the first European space station commander back in 2009. Andy, he says, will do a great job. He's very well respected by his uh, crewmates, uh, by NASA, by the entire team. So uh, he has also served a lot as a, as a role as a Capcom, lead Capcom, uh, increment, uh, crew increment manager in NASA. So I think he has had a number of responsible uh, positions in the space program, in the ISS program. So uh, today I don't need to give a lot of advice anymore to Andy. I think I can more take advice from him than uh, I have to give to him. For Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.